When you want the very best in geotechnical construction, you have maybe the seemingly impossible engineering feat to complete to perfection, this is Drill Tech. Hi everybody, I'm Cameron Steele and I'm in Laguna Beach at an undercover site where Drill Tech is basically working right underneath people's feet and they don't even know it's happening. That's right, I call it a secret spot because I've been walking along this beach with my dog and surfing here for years and had no idea Drill Tech was here doing this tunnel stabilization and sewer pipe replacement project. 10,000 feet of work, are you hearing me? It runs all the way down to Three Arch Bay from Aliso Beach. This is a massive project, it's done to perfection. Six and a half years later, you couldn't ask for a better job. Let's take a look and see what Drill Tech did. This originally started in 1954 as a City Works project. In 1974, it was retrofitted. Now Drill Tech in 2022 has come in and made a bigger tunnel, a bigger pipe, and a safer way for the sewage to move. Most people don't even think about where things go when you flush your toilet. Drill Tech engineers that to perfection. You may ask, why a two mile long tunnel alongside PCH underneath the bluffs here in Laguna Beach? Visionary infrastructure. Gravity sewer line eliminates costly and unsightly infrastructure along the coast. It eliminates the need for five to seven lift stations. Reduces maintenance and repair costs, energy use, and greenhouse gas emissions. The tunnel fact, two mile long tunnel constructed in 1954. The tunnel contains a 24 inch sewer interceptor line with average sewage flows equal to 1 million gallons a day. The tunnel was hand mined and blasted to approximately five by six feet dimensions with some sections supported by wooden timbers. Original VCP sewer line was replaced with Tekite in 1974. The original project, as you can see, was deteriorating. And what Drill Tech needed to do before they could come in and put a new tunnel and pipeline is encase the old in concrete. They used rebar and concrete fill with shotcrete and completely encased the old system. Then, on top of that, they built a new tunnel and new pipe to carry the sewage over that 10,000 feet of distance with gravity feed, eliminating the need for much infrastructure along the coast. So we, we designed it for a, for a one inch minimum and then a, a minimum so it goes between, between one inch to an inch and a half spacers and like I said we have, we have our shims that are spaced that are uh, made between a, a 16 quarter and a half inch so that we maintain our elevation all throughout the drying. It has a 1% slope across the tunnel. So everything drains to the land side of the tunnel uh, at a 1% and then it slopes down, uh, downhill at a 0.5% it's almost flat to that's why everything's so uh, critical. One of the main topics on this project is stabilization. One might ask, how is that achieved? Well, there's metal arches that are put into place and then they put shotcrete on top of that. What is shot cream? It's basically concrete that's shot onto it out of a tube and then they form it so that way it stabilizes the entire area.
One of the things people may not think of is the everyday commute to a 10,000 foot tunnel. That's right, the men will have to climb down a ladder or use a caged elevator on a crane to drop down into the tunnel. And then once they're there, they all travel by mini train back and forth to get to the different locations they'll be working on each and every day. One of the challenges with a project of this magnitude is getting all the equipment down into the 10,000 foot long tunnel. Imagine getting a road header down in to do the boring in a tiny little space. This is what drill tech engineers make happen. One of the stables of drill tech is being able to overcome anything that gets in the way. Not really in the way is all the couplers that come from all the homes. One area might have a coupler from four houses, one might come from 20 homes. But the thing to know is that it all has to come back into the main sewage pipeline. Drill tech technicians take a giant slab of metal and they cut it to custom fit each particular need along the way. They don't call someone else to do it. They get down and grind, they get down and cut, they get down and fit, they get down and weld. That is what Drill Tech does. Yeah. All righty, we're gonna ship out around it, uh, to get this thing out a little bit, and then we'll put the valve in place and put all our pieces together and uh, we'll be done. Right. Installed a uh, shot off valve, that's part of the new uh, the new tap district wants to put in so that they, they have control of it down here in case there's a plug uh, in here and they have to come in and service and clean up uh, uh, the, the P-trap. They can just shut it off, do, do their cleaning and then turn it back on and, and uh, get back to service again. If anything goes sideways, any, they want to come in and clean it up, you know, they can come in here and access this from this side, open that up and access from the opposite side. Clean up on both sides and it makes a difference. As you can see, there is no project too big and no engineering too challenging for drill tech. And there are no subcontractors. Drill tech takes on every challenge themselves. Everybody inside the company understands each aspect of what the company does and they handle it themselves. When Drill Tech took on the Laguna Beach project, they brought it to their engineering and planning departments and they decided to do it in four phases. After six and a half years, the job is done to perfection, which is exactly what Drill Tech does. No matter how big the job, Drill Tech is on point. You come into an empty lot and then you start developing the lot and, and then before you know it, you'll come out and have a beautiful, 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 beautiful site that you know you were a part of it from, from, from day one, from zero seen it to the finish and been able to do every single thing that was involved in there. That's what makes Drill Tech different than everybody else. 